is. I think. Hi guys. Hi. Oh, we're gonna have to oh. turn your sound off. Sorry. Julie has her sound on, so I just hear myself talking. It's really great. Hi guys. I'm Pierce Winfrey. I'm the Director of Artistry and Education for North America, and I'm here with Julie Barash. Hi guys. I'm the Regional Trainer for the West Coast. And we are really excited to have all of our new people coming on board um, and training with us today. It's going to be a really exciting next couple months, and we're just happy to have all these new people and new faces that we'll get to meet over the next couple few months to work here with Smash, or at Smashbox with us. Yes, and you guys will get a lot of additional training, but we thought what better way to kick off the partnership but then to train you via webinar so you guys have a good idea of the brand history, the core products, and benefits before you head to Arizona next week. Yeah, exactly. We want a little sneak peek into the brand before you guys get your official training. So we're going to start off. I'm going to share my screen just for a minute so you can see our brand heritage video. It's pretty quick, but we'll start off with that. So... All right, so that was a little intro into Smashbox as a brand. And we're gonna switch back over to video. Sorry, one sec. There we go. I'm a makeup artist, not great with computers. He's actually really good with computers. All right, there we go. <laughs> So uh, hopefully everyone can see us. Uh, we just entered it into full screen with our video. Uh, again, we just want to say in the bottom corner, there is a little chat button. So anytime you want to ask us a question, just type it in. We'll answer throughout. Um, and we're going to start off with talking a little bit about Smashbox and where we come from as a brand. Uh, we are the largest photo studio on the West Coast, and that's where we're at today. Actually, there's a big shoot going on right across the parking lot. And something's happening here literally every single day. Every single day. Yeah. And Dean and Davis Factor, great grandsons of Max Factor, started Smashbox Studios in 1990. Yeah. There was such a high demand from makeup artists, celebrities, photographers that really wanted a cosmetic line that would work in a photography setting. So Smashbox Cosmetics was born in a photo studio in 1996. Yeah, so we started our cosmetics brand in 1996. They started with products that really worked well on set because there is high intensity, it's hot underneath the lights, the people are changing their clothes often when they're getting their photos taken, and we needed to make products that were going to be long wearing, look good under any light, and be transfer proof. So that's something that we're always speaking back to as a brand. Um, it's something that's in our core essence and different than a lot of other brands out there. And we want to tell our story in a unique way that's relevant to clients. 
So we speak to a couple main things. Again, um, color consistent in any light. We have Flashbox, which is a lighting studio that has about 10,000 LED lights inside of it. And we're really able to test how the makeup looks in any lighting scenario. And Julie will go into that a little bit more. Uh, also, we want to make sure our products, again, are transfer proof because we want the products to stay on your face, not transfer onto clothing. And that relates definitely to clients as well because your makeup should look perfect all day. Same idea with long wear. We want the makeup to wear from morning to night. We don't want it to oxidize. You don't want to look in the mirror six hours into wearing your makeup and find out that it's not there or it's patchy or it's not wearing well. So all of those are really true with our brand. Yeah, and what I love about Smashbox is we solve the problems on set that women face on a daily basis. So we are for everyone everywhere, not just the special occasion makeup. We are for the mom on the go that needs to put on makeup in five minutes and have it last all day. We are for that 80 year old woman that loves her long wearing look. We are literally for everyone everywhere. And that's what I really love about this brand. We speak to everybody about really enhancing your own natural, beautiful features. Exactly. Another thing that we're talking a lot about this season is Los Angeles. We're based in LA. We've been here for over 20 years, obviously. We're the largest photo studio on the West Coast. And we want to bring that kind of LA vibe into a lot of things that we're creating. So you're going to see a lot of LA kind of enhanced into our gondola over the next couple of seasons. It's going to be really something that we're speaking back to as our brand. Uh, because there's a lot of amazing things that are happening here. There's, you know, gorgeous models. There's amazing photographers. There's a lot of really talented artists. And one of the cool things about Smashbox is we're a brand that we really love to partner with all different types of people. Uh, it's like a creative place and it's all about having that kind of creative energy. And we really find that energy is in Los Angeles. So you'll see a lot of story tying in with that. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. All right, guys. So I don't see any questions. So I think we're gonna get started in the product. Perfect. Sound good? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna start talking about our complexion. At Smashbox, we really pride ourselves into creating that perfect canvas. The reason being is because on set, you wanna really perfect the skin so color looks truer and lasts longer. At Smashbox, we do that in three easy steps. Prime, perfect, and set. And I'm sure you guys have all heard of Photo Finish Foundation Primer. We have over 17 years experience in the primer category. We created it on set to reduce the cost of retouching and to make foundation go on smoother and last longer. We are the primer authority. We are also the number one primer brand in North America. We have 11 different primers depending on your skin type and concern. I'm gonna quickly review all of them. If you guys have questions, please ask. Pierce is on by my side answering them but I'm gonna get started. So with our, sorry, I'm gonna grab them. With our primer category, I'm going to start with our Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. This is our original primer. This is the one that started 17 years ago. It's our bread and butter, and that's why it gets the really fancy packaging. But this is great for any skin type. Anybody that's normal, that says they really don't have any concerns, it's oil-free, it's packed with antioxidants, and it will really smooth out the surface of your skin. It's also a really great magic eraser. So it will clean up any eyeshadow fallout. It will even help you really get a defined wing liner. It will remove an always on liquid lip. It's kind of a multitasking, amazing product. And this is one that we really pride ourselves in. So when you're talking to people about primer, always start here. And then we start the conversation, what type of skin do you have? What type of concerns do you have? Is there anything that you would change about the texture of your skin? Those type of questions will lead you into additional primers. If somebody says they tend to be a little bit oily in the T-zone or they have sensitive skin, I like to go with our super light foundation primer. Can you guys see that? Is it, is it easier to hold it like in front of me? Can you see it? I can see it. Hold it a little bit closer to the screen if you want to. Yeah, that's better. Okay, great. So this is our super light primer. What's really amazing about this one, it's great for sensitive skin, somebody that gets a little bit of shine in the T-zone, it's 60% water. So if you have a client that says the original is a little thick, this one feels more like a lotion and it's really sheer. So it's going to do a light priming with giving you that lightweight feel. Yes. 
again, if somebody says they're oily in the T-zone, but they're extremely oily and you really want to mattify them and they're concerned with large pores, we go to minimize pores. This one is thicker in consistency. You really want to emulsify it with your fingers before applying it. And it's kind of a press and roll motion. You can do it over top of makeup. This one keeps you shine free for up to eight hours. And it really does a great job of filling in those large pores. But just keep in mind, somebody has to be extremely oily with large pores in order for this primer to work on them. If somebody's dry, steer clear of this one. Now, if somebody is oily and they want something on the go, we have our primer stick. This is really great. It has a 12 hour claim so it keeps you shine free for up to 12 hours and it's our photo finish iconic primer stick so it's really easy to apply you literally just kind of stripe it on your face press it in and you can do this over top of makeup too and it will not dry your skin out but again it has that 12 hour claim so a lot of people ask the difference between these two since they're both oil absorber think about this one as more oil absorber with filling in large pores, and this is really targeting that oil. Okay, makes sense? Now, on the flip side, if somebody says they're dry, we have multiple primers to offer them as well. So if they're dry, this is kind of one of those miracle multitasking products. It's new to the brand, about less than a year, and it's our Photo Finish Primerizer 2-in-1. So it's a moisturizer and primer all in one. It's going to lock in moisture for 24 hours and instantly gives you 127% increase in hydration. It hydrates with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. So I know all my Glam Glow peeps, you guys know all about skin, so you know how important those ingredients are for really hydrating the skin. What's really cool about this one is even though it has that beautiful hydration, it quickly absorbs and it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. It really just leaves your skin feeling hydrated and smooth. It's very lightweight. Now, if somebody wants the hydration, but they want to see that dewy radiance, we have our amazing primer oil, 15 essential oils. We say two drops away from a glow that lasts all day. This one's beautiful on the skin. It comes with a little dropper two drops, press it into your skin, and it's gonna leave your skin looking dewy, radiant, and really hydrated. With this guy, you could even mix it in with foundation to sheer it out, but it will give you that beautiful glow. However, it's a dry oil, so it's not gonna make you look greasy. It literally just makes you look really hydrated and beautiful. Then we have our primer water. So what's great about this one, it's, Again, one of those multitasking products. I'm gonna say that a lot because we have a lot of products that are multitasking. This one you can do before makeup to prep your skin, after makeup to set your skin, or throughout the day to refresh in your skin. This is also a primer that you can definitely link with another primer. You can use this as a hydration spray to prep and then apply an additional primer over top. You can spray it with a beauty blender to sheer out foundation on a foundation brush. Really, the sky's the limit with this product. It's like an energy drink for the skin. It's packed with electrolytes. It's really amazing. It kind of makes you feel like a spa in a bottle. You can even keep it in the refrigerator and in the morning give yourself a little cool wake up kind of spray. Now, if somebody is dry but they want something that is radiant, so primer oil is more of that dewy, more of that sheen. Radiance primer gives you more of that luminescence. It is packed with amber and bronze pearls. So the pearl in it is so beautiful and it works on all skin tones. It has shea butter and hyaluronic acid, so it will hydrate the skin. This is also great to wear on your days off when you really don't wanna wear makeup. It just really leaves your skin looking radiant and beautiful. Am I, am I going too fast? We're good? Yeah. You're going good. Um, good? Any questions? Not yet. Mention maybe the um, studio script that they have. Yes. Have Sorry, up. guys. You guys all received this from Karina, yes? Via email. Via email. So, so sorry. If you have this and if you printed it out and if you're in a place that you can 
follow along, this will be your Smashbox guide, your Smashbox 101 into the brand. And it will talk about all these primers and the key benefits. And also one thing to mention, I'm sorry I didn't mention this in the beginning, is we just did a whole primer restage. So what you notice is we have new packaging. The new packaging really speaks to the key benefit of that specific primer. So while you're learning this, it's gonna be really easy for you to help a client because it says what it does right on the tube. So it's like your little cheat sheet. Now, if you have somebody that wants an anti-aging primer with a little bit of sunscreen, we also have our Dermaxil. This is our old packaging, so just keep that in mind. But SPF 20, Dermaxil is an anti-aging ingredient, so it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles over time. And this one has an SPF 20, so it's also going to give you that sun protection. Last but not least, in our face priming category, we have our color correctors. So we have our reduced redness, which is in a green tube. So you guys all know that green counteracts red. So this is good for somebody that's concerned with redness or we have our even skin tone. And this is our peach one, which will even out any hyperpigmentation, any brown or blue, okay? So I didn't go into too much detail with ingredients. There are certain, certain primers that are oil-free and certain primers that aren't. Please reference your studio script to get more information. We just wanted to give you the brief overview so you guys feel comfortable going into store. One key thing to know is that our primers are packed or formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. So they're really good for your skin. They do contain dimethicone, which is a form of silicone. It's a larger molecule, so it won't absorb into the skin. Instead, it will sit on top and fill in the surface, giving you a smooth application for foundation. Okay, sound good? Yes? Oh, are you going to do our primer demo piece? Yeah, I think awesome. that one of the things about primer for us as a category, it's our, it's our number one selling category. It's 25% of our business at Smashbox. And we know that primer works, and it's one of our most replenished products. But a lot of times when you're in store, it's hard to tell a client what primer does because it's a clear, and it definitely has that instant moment. But if they're not actually trying it on their skin, it's hard to convince someone into it. So we have a little demo that we do in store where we take two sponges. And again, this is something that is um, available at any Sephora or Ulta, so you don't have to carry them with you. I'm just going to prime one sponge with our Iconic Primer. And basically taking that product, this light is so bright, we're blowing out a little bit, and then just smoothing it into the actual sponge. So this is gonna kind of create that smooth surface texture. So think of this as your skin. Your skin is porous, it's absorbing things. So we're gonna prime one sponge and then leave one sponge unprimed. And I'm gonna grab a uh, one of our foundations. And I'm gonna take one pump of foundation on each of the sponges. So this is our unprimed sponge and this is our primed sponge. What you're gonna notice when you have a primed sponge is it's going to smooth the foundation on very evenly. It's going to not settle into the sponge and it won't oxidize. You can see how it really kind of glides all over the entire sponge. Whereas with our unprimed sponge, when you smooth it in, it instantly absorbs into the sponge. It gets a little bit deeper in color and you're not gonna get that kind of smooth, even application. So when we do this and show this in store, it can show the client or the cast member that you're teaching that the primer is really going to allow you to have a better, smoother, more even application that's not gonna oxidize throughout the day. And it's an instant kind of aha moment. So just something easy and simple to use in store. So now Julie's gonna go into an application of our Prime Perfection set. Awesome, and thanks Pierce. Come on, Stephanie. Have a seat. Actually, can you see? I'm gonna sit her closer to the camera. Is that yeah, okay? Yeah. Put her wherever. Okay. Now sit down. Can you guys see? Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Great. So now that we went over our primer category, I am going to do a primer demo, and then we will go on to our perfecting category. So I've already consulted with my beautiful model here. So. I know that she has dry skin and she likes a dewy finish, so I'm gonna show you guys how you can really achieve that 
she is concerned with her makeup lasting all day. So I am going to use our Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. And what we do at Smashbox, we do a pea size amount. So you'll hear us talk about this. A pea size amount is all you will need when you are using the primers that are in a tube. I like a primer or a fingertip application with primer. I know a lot of brands have used brushes in the past, but the reason at Smashbox we like to use our fingertips is because we can really feel where we place the primer and we can really warm it into the skin. So I'm using my fingertips starting in the center of the face and working my way out. Okay, and you can instantly, I don't know if you could tell over the camera, but when you're in store and you use this product, you can instantly see how it smooths the surface of the skin. And that's what's so beautiful about this product. Okay. So I'm going to start in the center of the face. And then one thing we did not talk about is that we have a primer for everything. So I went over the face primers, but we also have a primer for every other feature on the face. We have a primer for underneath the eyes. And this is our hydrating under eye primer. If you guys have not used this, you're missing out. It is like a cup of coffee for underneath the eyes. I always say nobody wakes up in the morning and thinks their eyes look amazing. So we all need a little help in that area. And this will instantly brighten, hydrate the under eye area, help concealer go on smoother and last longer. It has caffeine, so it helps with puffiness. It has these soft focus pearls. So it helps with brightening. And it has hydrators in there like hyaluronic acid that will really smooth the surface and hydrate. You guys all know coming from skin that a hydrated prep skin will help you in the long run, right? So we all need to keep that skin prepped. So we did our smooth and blur primer, our under eye primer. Then next we go into eyelid primer. So we do all of our primers together normally when we're working with a client. The reason being is because it just keeps it streamlined. It helps the client understand that primer is their first step to perfecting their makeup application. So we did our face primer, under eye primer. Now it's time to do our eyelid primer. So we have a couple different options in eyelid primer. We have photo finish lid primers, and these come in light, medium, dark, white and smoke and what these are are they are eight hour wear they have a form of hyaluronic acid that really hydrates the eyelid so if you have a client that says they're dry or maybe have discoloration on their lids i'd recommend the light medium or dark if you have a client that really wants to pop and pigment you can do the white or somebody that wants to deepen shadow you can use the smoke if somebody's one of those makeup junkies, they have really oily eyelids, we have our 24 hour shadow primer. This is translucent and will lock shadow on for 24 hours. So it's either one or the other. You wouldn't wanna mix these together. So we have a tonal corrector, eight hour wear, very hydrating, or translucent 24 hour wear, also really beautiful on the eyelids. What's great about both of our products is because it's Smashbox, we really like that diffusion of color. We like to enhance. Shadow blends beautifully over top of either one. Okay. Again, I like this with the fingertip application as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand for sanitary purposes. We never wanna go in directly with the wand. And I'm gonna use my fingertip and go from lash line to brow. And at home, I just tell clients three dots blend from lash line to brow. Okay. Okay, so quickly do three little dots lash line to brow. Now we also have our layer lash primer, which is for the eyelashes. That's the one product in our primer category that I like to wait and do with the actual eye category. So now that she's primed, we can go in and we can talk about perfecting the skin. One thing I wanna talk about at Smashbox is we typically do skin first. Yes, do we have a question? Um, I just thought maybe we could tell them a little bit about like if someone asks about cocktailing or using more than one, and why we would or wouldn't. <clears throat> Great, thank you, great question. So Pierce just asked me about cocktailing primer. 
So there are times where we can definitely use multiple primers or cocktail them, but you need to be very careful. Um, primers that you can mix together is primer oil will mix well with Radiance Primer. That's a really beautiful co um, concoction. That's probably the only two that I would mix together. Or you could primer cocktail. You could do pour minimizing in the center and then smooth and blur on the outside or radiance on the outside, pour minimizing in the center. We really don't wanna layer them. The reason being, if you layer too many dimethicone products on top of one another, you'll start to fall and it will start to peel. And we don't want that to happen. That's why we recommend a pea size amount. So you can definitely cocktail by doing one in the T-zone, one on the cheeks, or you can mix primer oil with radiance to give a really dewy, beautiful glow, which is a studio secret that Lori Taylor does in studio. Other than that, I really wouldn't mix them. You can keep in mind, primer water can go with any primer. Does that answer good? Okay. Great, so now we're gonna move on to the perfecting category. So one thing I was saying is at Smashbox, we typically do complexion first. The reason being, again, is because we wanna smooth out this canvas. We wanna get a blank canvas so we know where we wanna take color, and we know that color is gonna last longer and look truer if we start with that blank canvas. So at Smashbox, all of our foundations are oil-free and hydrating. So it really is up to the type of coverage and finish that your client wants. We do have a lot of um, foundations right now. Just to let you guys know, our BB and CC category is going to be discontinued in fall. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Right now, I'm gonna focus on our Hero Skew in foundation, and that's our Studio Skin category. Studio Skin Foundation is a beautiful natural matte finish. It's long wear. This is 15 hours. Just to let you guys know, we are relaunching Studio Skin in the fall and it will have a new claim of 24 hours. The formula did not change. However, we retested it and found out, wow, it really lasts longer than 15 hours. So it's going to have a 24 hour claim. It's sweat humidity transfer resistant. It's hydrating and oil free, so it balances out the skin. And depending on your tool and application will depend on the type of coverage that you get. It's really one of those multitasking foundations that you can really play with it. The beauty of this is that it is long wearing without feeling or looking heavy on the skin. Currently we have 22 shades. In fall, we will launch an additional 18 and we will have 40 shades. The price was just reduced from 42 to $36. So this is gonna be one of those products that are gonna be an easy sell in store. At Smashbox, when we color correct foundation, we do it in the cheek area because this is where we have the most discoloration. And also, we're not huge on bringing foundation all the way down the neck because that's really not realistic. We're all about enhancing less is more. So it's really building in sheer layers and only putting product where you need it. On set, if we were to be packing on product, packing on product from from hairline to neck, it would just be too much, too much upkeep throughout that long photo shoot. So it's really about applying sheer layers and creating that beautiful coverage with little and less work. Okay, so at Smash Rocks, we normally kick three shades, sorry, and we do it that way. Now, even though you can look at a client once you get familiar with the shades and say, hey, she's probably a 2.1 or a 3.1, we still like to match. And the reason being is because you want the client buy-in. Some people like to be warmer. Some people like to be cooler. Some people like to be lighter, darker. You never know. So you really want to match. So we do three stripes. I do three stripes that you can pretty much see. I'm doing them kind of thick so you guys can see. That? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And I normally hand the client the mirror after this, and I say, okay, now this one's a perfect match because it's blending into your skin. This one's going to be a little bit lighter. This one's going to be a little bit darker. So I know it's hard for you guys to see right now, but when you look at this, this, this one's definitely going way too dark on her. Can you guys, can you see that on the camera? Kind of. The middle one's going a little too orange. The first one is really blending into the skin. So she's a, can I put this one? So she is a 2.1.
And let me just tell you a little bit about the foundations. When we first launched Studio Skin, we had 12 shades. Then we launched an additional 10, and now we're launching an additional 18. So the numbers are the point ones, point twos, and the ones are fairs, the twos are light, threes are mediums, fours are dark. That will make more sense when you guys are really playing with it. But what's really cool is with the new launch in fall, we will talk more to the undertone of each individual product. So it will help you guys match a little bit easier. So because Stephanie here is dry, she wanted to fill in her pores, but she likes a dewy look. I'm gonna do that wonderful concoction to sheer out this product because she has beautiful skin. She doesn't need that full coverage. So we're gonna take primer oil. I took one pump of Studio Skin, one drop of primer oil, and I'm gonna mix that to give her a really sheer, radiant glow that's still going to last. I'm gonna take my blurring foundation brush. Now, one thing we have not talked about yet is our brushes. So at Smashbox, we have a full line, 30, I think we're up to 34 brushes right now. They are a Macy's exclusive. So that is the only retailer right now that you can get our brushes in. But we just revamped them a year ago. What's really cool about our brush, they're all synthetic. Foundation, eye, cheek, all of our brushes are synthetic. The reason we did that is because A, we're cruelty free, we don't test on animals. B, they have better bristle memory, so they'll bounce back after multiple uses and washing. And it's less bacteria. So you can really clean them easily between uses and it's less bacteria. What's also really unique about our brush collection is multiple ones have little notches, meaning it will tell you if you hold your brush closer to the bristles, you'll get full coverage. If you hold it further back, you'll get more of a sheer coverage, okay? And that's with everything, even with eyeshadow brushes. If you hold your brush closer to the bristles, you're gonna get more impact, more density. If you hold it back, you'll get more of a fluid finish. So I just started in the T-zone, really barely used the product on my hand because she has beautiful skin, and just buffed out. I don't have to worry about the line of demarcation around her jawline because I placed most of the pigment in the, this triangle and buffed out. Okay, so that's a quick, beautiful complexion. It's all she needs. If she wanted additional coverage, could we take a little bit more product with a denser brush and do a little bit through the T-zone? Yeah, this is the point that I would hold the mirror for the client or give my client the mirror and say, hey, how are you feeling about the coverage? Do you want additional coverage? If so, where would you like that coverage? I would have the client guide me. I know the trend right now is really packing on that foundation, really creating that full coverage like they do on Instagram, but that's not really wearable for a long day. That's wearable for a photo moment and then it starts to crease and it starts to kind of fade away and you really have to spend a lot of time kind of fixing it throughout the day. So we want to educate our clients on how you can really create less is more with our product. Okay. Next, we're going to move into concealer. At Smashbox, we do foundation first because then we see what we really need to conceal, again, using less product. Um, so before you move on, yes. will the oil eventually break down the foundation as it wears? No. That's a great question. And then how would she explain it differently than a makeup removing one? Oh, huh. that's a great question. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Um, <laughs> with the foundation, no, it does not. It's because this foundation is long wearing, sweat humidity transfer resistant. The oil just kind of enhances the hydration benefits in the product and it doesn't really affect the longevity of the product. If you do have somebody that tends to have oily skin that doesn't, um, that foundation doesn't really last on, I wouldn't recommend mixing the oil with. This is for somebody that's dry, that wants that dewiness, that wants to shear out the foundation. You will not see that it affects the longevity or the wearability of the foundation at all. I do this combination all the time and will work 14 hour days and my foundation still looks great. You can always sell them a powder if they did want a little bit in the T-zone 
But other than that, it's not going to affect the longevity. Okay. The dry oil. Yeah. Right. And just going back to the, the dry oil aspect, even though it's hydrating and 15 essential oils, it is a dry oil. So a great trick when you guys are in store, you can put the primer oil on the back of your hand, take a tissue and pat it, and you can show clients that it is a dry oil. The oil doesn't transfer onto the tissue, it gets absorbed into the skin. So same kind of concept, the oil is absorbing into the skin, it's not transferring off the skin. I think that's why it's not a like a makeup remover. Yeah, I think yeah, that's a great point, Pierce. Um, and that's why it's not a makeup remo remover. It's not an oil that breaks down product. It's an oil that hydrates and absor absorbs product. Make sense? Or absorbs into the skin. That was a great question. I've never been asked that before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we do conceal our after foundation because you know we want to make sure that we're not putting too much product on the skin i'm going to use our studio skin concealer it's 24 hour it's sweat humidity resistant and it's going to lock on for 24 hours even though it's 24 hours it's not going to look dry or cakey on the skin and that's also due to the application that we are going to do um what this does once it sets on the skin for about 30 seconds it's not going to change color. So it may change with the warmth in the first 30 seconds. After that, it stays color true throughout the entire day. We have 10 different shades. And I'm going to use our concealer brush, our little buffing brush to do a little concealer action. So at Smashbox, we call our concealer application uplighting. The reason being is we start in the center of the eye. We work our way through the area that people tend to be the darkest, down through the nose, up through the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit more so you guys can see. And then up lighting is really bringing that all the way up to the hairline, creating that beautiful lift. So it's not the roundness, that raccoon kind of application, it's more of an angled application, giving you a beautiful lift, enhancing those cheekbones, and starting your highlighting category. And then I'm just gonna buff this in, okay? What's really cool too about everything that we're doing is if you follow Smashbox on Instagram, you'll find a lot of tips and tricks, but we have our own YouTube channel. So you'll be able to really go on and watch Lori Taylor Davis do tons of demos on really how we create that beautiful skin and that beautiful application. And we are spending a little bit more time on skin because that is our replenishable products. Those are the products that people come back for more. For more. And one thing I will say, being with the brand, I've been with the brand for 10 years, no matter what complexion product we launch, we do complexion beautifully. And it's because we really keep the skin-like feel in mind and we don't create product that looks too heavy or that goes on too thick. We create product that really does a beautiful job of enhancing features and not masking. Yes. Yes. Also to Pierce mentioned this in the very beginning, but with our Studio Skin Foundation, we tested it in every single light to make sure no matter where you are, it's gonna stay color true. So when you're getting ready, in the morning and you're in your bathroom and you maybe have more Florenza lighting, no fear, you're gonna go out to daylight where it's a little bit more blue and you're still gonna look beautiful. The color of the foundation is going to look amazing no matter what light. And we actually have the ability to test it in all of our retailer lighting too. So we tested it in Sephora lighting, Macy's, Alta, you name it, we made sure our foundations look beautiful no matter where you are. So you will never have that photo flashback. You will never look like a ghost in your selfie. I don't think that really happens these days anyways with filters, but hey. Cool, little bit of concealer. And again, this is your moment where you give your client the mirror and you ask, is there any more areas that you wanna conceal? If so, where? And you can adjust based on that. Now, one thing I didn't mention 
with our foundations, we have multiple, or with our brushes, I'm sorry, we have multiple different brushes. So with foundation category, we have a blurring, a stippling, a full coverage, a flat foundation brush. So depending, again, on the coverage that your client is wanting, you have a tool to achieve that outcome. Same thing with concealer. We have a buffing concealer brush. We have a flat concealer brush. We have a multi-detailed brush. So again, whatever outcome they want, we have a tool that feeds fits their needs. After we do our perfecting category, we go to setting. So setting can be two things. It can be powder, or it can be primer water, or you can adjust it with your client if they don't want to set. Studio Skin is a long wearing foundation. It's not a foundation you necessarily need to set, but again, you need to talk with your client with that. If your client does like powder, at least to set a little bit in the T-zone or all over, we have our be beautiful Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder. It's a mineral-based powder that hydrates the skin. So it's not going to look cakey. It's not going to look powdery. In fact, it really looks beautiful and radiant on the skin. It's a pressed powder. You twist it clockwise. You twist it clockwise, and you get fresh powder each time. Again, depending on your tool, will depend on the type of coverage with this. So as far as powder goes, we have a couple different brushes to offer. We have very sheer all the way up to a kabuki brush. Because her skin is so beautiful, and I just wanna show you this for sake of demo purposes, I'm gonna use our really fluffy, the name Sheer Powder Brush. And this one does have the notches, so if you hold it closer, you get more of a fuller coverage or actually sheer, if you hold it further back, you get a sheerest coverage because this is definitely just a sheer brush. So I always kind of dip my powder brush in, tap off the excess, and then just go in the T-zone, making sure my last brush stroke is always down when it comes to powder. Okay. And she is primed, perfect, and set, set, it, set. Yeah, <laughs> all right, so just to Recap, when we do perfect canvas, it's really about creating that perfect camera ready skin without looking heavy, without masking. It's less is more. It's building in layers. Start soft, then build based on the customization for your client. We start with primer. So asking those questions to determine which primer is best for her. Then we prime the under eye, we prime the eyelid. Then we go into our perfecting category. We talk to her about what type of coverage and what type of finish she likes in order to adjust the foundation to meet her needs and to pick the perfect tool to go with that application. Then we do concealer. Remember concealer is our uplighting technique. It's the inner corner of the eyes, area of darkness down through the nose, out through the outer corners, all the way up to the hairline. So you're really creating that triangle and that uplift. And then we do a set. A set can, again, be powder, or it can be our beautiful primer water, which I will not set now because Pierce will probably use that at the very end of his application. And one thing about this, the reason we can use it so many times throughout an application, it is oil-free, alcohol-free, and silicone-free. So it really is just going to boost and make your skin look enhanced and beautiful. Cool. Great. Sound good? Okay, I'm going to bring Pierce up and he's going to go into our color categories for you guys. I'm going to pull it just a little bit closer. Yeah. My face is real close now. I'll be fine. Okay. I think I am tall. My head might be cut out a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Right. Let's do like this. Yeah. Is that fine? You're no, good. That's, that's real tight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. Um, so now we're going to go into color. And I wish this little screen would go away so I could see your face. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, so we're going to start off by doing a little color. And we have a lot of different things that we like to educate with on a uh, color category with Smashbox. And so we're going to go through that throughout. Again, uh, in the emails earlier, Karina sent. Um, an eye shape uh, quiz as well as a face shape quiz. So we'll be talking about those as well. Um, one of the things that we speak to a lot at Smashbox is a previous kind of phrase was, our knowledge is your beauty. And it's something that I've always taken to heart when I've done um, makeup at Smashbox because we never want anyone to go home with products that they don't know how to use. And so whether we're educating them in store or we're giving them links to our YouTube channel, 
there's all different ways that we love to um, educate the clients to be able to best use their products at home because it's the worst when you get home and there's a product that you have no idea how to use so it just lives in your drawer rather than on their beautiful face. So we're gonna start off by doing brows. We have a couple different brow products that we can choose from. Here's, can I interrupt? Just going back to complexion really quick, we had a question, do we have a translucent loose setting powder? Not yet, that could be in the works for the future, but um, no translucent setting powder yet. One of the things about Studio Skin is it's a demi matte finish that's going to wear for 24 hours. So unless you're incredibly oily, it doesn't necessarily have to be set. A lot of times what we kind of talk back to with um, our powder category is using it throughout the day to maybe touch up rather than that initial set especially if you're speaking to studio makeup application, is the less makeup you have, the less um, often you have to kind of go back in and air or rebrush or um, uh, Photoshop the makeup back out of that kind of image. So like with Lori, who you're actually going to have a chance to meet a little bit later, who is our global pro lead artist, she never sets with makeup in the beginning or sets with powder in the beginning because sometimes that can create texture, especially if you have a matte foundation. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't want to have those products for the clients to use at home. So they're always trying to develop the best way of um, creating those new products. And we are definitely looking into translucent powder. Um, so we're going to start off with a little bit of brow. We have a couple different brow products to choose from. And just depending on what the client lo lo loves or needs. So if a client wants like a really lovely feather brow, we do have our matte brow pencils. These guys are very, very fine. They create a great hair-like texture. And on the back, of course, you have a spoolie that can groom the product back into the skin. But today I'm actually going to use our Brow Tech To Go, which is a multitasker. And one of the reasons why I love this is it is a retractable, waterproof pencil that stays on the skin all day long and has a little hidden compartment. So in the back of it actually has a setting gel. The setting gel will help kind of groom and hold the brows in place. So I'm just gonna do soft feather-like strokes starting at the inner corner of the brow. Um, for a Smashbox brow, we always talk about fluffy brows and creating hair-like texture. So rather than one hard stroke or creating like a really heavy Instagram kind of baseline, I'm gonna do just quick little light strokes to create more of a hair-like texture. So whatever, whatever brow product you choose, um, you always wanna create that more kind of fluffy brow at Smashbox, we call it the now brow. And a now brow is, again, just enhancing the client's natural shape. And there is a quiz that we have for the brows as well. But for today, we're going to keep it a little bit more simple and just kind of follow her natural brow shape going up at the inner corner of the brow and then just lightly sweeping it into the arch. So with these products, again, they're very, we have four different tones. We have a blonde, which is really lovely, so it's not too buttery or warm. We have the taupe, which is what I'm using today. We have brunette, which is a little bit of a warmer brown, has a little bit of a red tint. And then we have dark brown, which is going to be a cooler, true uh, brown, which is great for someone who has a little bit more raven hair. And you can see with these products, very easy to use. She already has lovely brows, but they um, just glide onto the skin. And with the brow tech to go, you can see it has a soft angle. You just hold the angle against the skin and then lightly sweep back. And once you have the pigment placed onto the brow where you want it, you then go in with your setting product. And I did not bring any mascara ones. You mind grabbing me some? And we'll set in just a sec, but just with a clean mascara wand, just go back in and groom through. So now that we have the brows in place, we're gonna do a quick quiz that talks about eye shaping. So all of you guys got the eye shape quiz, and this is something that we really like to speak back to at Smashbox because everyone has a different eye shape, and each eye shape is unique, and they're all gorgeous, but we want the client to be able to go home and best apply her eyeshadow for her shape of eye. So you know it's always the worst, like if someone like goes home and like, you know, you have your eyes closed, you blend and buff and like perfect that shadow. And then all of a sudden you open your eyes and the shadow's gone. And that's never going to be great for a client. So what we have them do is look directly in the mirror when we first sit them down to talk about their eyeshadow application. So when she's looking in the mirror, you can use the, can or the computer as the mirror. You're going to grab something flat like a Q-tip or maybe a brush. And you're going to hold it at the inner corner of their eye. 
uh, you're gonna look and see if the inner corner lies flat with the outer corner, or if the outer corner pulls up or down. So if the outer corner pulls up, you have an upturned eye, which basically means you have like those beautiful happy eyes and they're lifted. If your outer corner pulls down, which is actually my shape of eye, you have a little bit of a downturned eye. So when you're applying your eyeshadow, you're gonna create a little bit more lift. If the inner corner and outer corner lie flat, the next question you would ask is, do you have like a prominent lid? So if you have a lot of lid space, I have a lot of lid space, um, you're going to ask another question. But if you have a little bit less, it's called a hooded lid. So you're gonna try to enhance the look of the eyelid with something maybe shimmery to bounce the light. So your eyelid looks larger. The last question you would ask if they don't have a hooded lid is when they look directly ahead, do you see white underneath the iris, the colored part of your eye? If you see white underneath, you have big round eyes and you're going to elongate the eye shape to enhance. Otherwise, if it lies flat, they have a prominent lid and they don't see white underneath, you have a classic almond shape eye, which is gonna be kind of the normal beauty standard. So looking at our lovely model, she definitely has an almond shape eye. And I am so sorry, the very first question I skipped, the first question you would ask is, do you have a crease? A person who doesn't have a crease is basically means like their lash goes straight up towards the brow. They don't have a natural crease. That's a monolid. Monolid is great for a smoky eye. It's going to give a little bit more of like a smolder along that lash line and that will enhance that shape. So there's six main shapes. We're not saying that's the only shape of eye in the world, but those are the different shapes that we assess to be the most common. And a lot of times people will be a combination of shapes, but the main idea about this is, you know, assessing the eye shape, saying, oh my gosh, well, you have a wonderful almond shape eye, so let's enhance that shape or with whatever shape you have. And again, not one shape is better than the other. All shapes are great. It's just allowing them to be their best artist at home. So now that we assessed her eye shape and she has an almond, we're gonna go in and start to create structure with one of our cover shot palettes. Cover shot palettes are great because they are our mini multitasker palettes. First off, they have an amazing price point. They're only $29 and you get eight eyeshadows. A couple other benefits to it, you have two base shades that are double pans. So you're gonna have a lot more of that product that you use the most so you never run out. Um, these guys have all different formulas inside of them. One of the cool thing about our PD is they're always looking to have the best formulas. So the mattes are gonna be super creamy, the shimmers are gonna be a different formula to enhance and add that sparkle and shine onto the skin. We have new formulas coming out for summer that you guys will see when you are in um, Arizona. And those are like, they're holographic, they're really cool metals, they're something that's not even on the market yet. So we're always being innovative, making sure that the products that we create are going to have the best application. So once we have the shape assessed, we're gonna go in and start to sculpt and create structure. So I'm starting off with one of our fluffy shadow brushes, which is just a lay down brush. And I'm gonna press this underneath the brow bone. I'm using a matte shadow underneath the brow. And that is a classic way for a Smashbox to kind of start their look. One of the things that we don't do a lot at Smashbox is create too much shimmer underneath the brow bone. Not saying that's not gorgeous or it's great for certain situations, but we're always speaking back to camera and lighting at Smashbox because we are, of course, what? The photo studio, right? So underneath your brow is one of the more dominant points on your face. So when you're looking directly into a camera or in the mirror, your brow bone's naturally pulling forward anyways. So if you add a lot of shimmer right there, especially if you're in a ring light or if a flash is hitting you, that shimmer is gonna overtake the rest of the complexion. And we don't want everyone to only be looking at your brow bone, we want to balance features. So we always do something a little more matte. So we have that pretty matte highlight, and then I'm gonna go back in and start to sculpt the eye. So with almost all of our palettes, you'll always find different sculpting shades that are gonna be a little bit more matte. And for this camera, because this is so bright, I'm gonna use something a little bit deeper. And not shimmer me. <clears throat> so we'll do a little smoky, but using something a little bit more matte into the crease to create a shadowing effect. So for Smashbox, we always like to have kind of a sunset look to our makeup application. Um, we're not known for a cut crease, we're more known more for that perfectly blended kind of diffused look on the eyes. So I'm gonna start at the outer corner and work my way inwards. So I like to work in small circular strokes and start to diffuse the pigment across the lid, working inwards. 
And this is always kind of talking about shape matters at this point, because your placement of your contour is going to change the shaping of the eye. So if I'm placing it higher, closer to the brow bone, I'm gonna be opening up the lid space, which is great for someone who maybe has a hooded lid. If someone has big round eyes like myself, you'd probably place more of your contour onto the lid, so you wouldn't overly enhance the roundness of the eye. So you can always kind of speak back to that with the clients. We always like to educate the with the client as we go along. So the reason why we're placing it and how to apply that product. So quick, small circular strokes, blending inwards to create that diffused kind of sunset effect on the eyes. LA has the most beautiful sunsets because we have the most pollution. So <laughs> I want to make sure that we get that lovely gradient effect. So instantly that saturation is going to enhance her almond eye shape and create that really beautiful diffused look. I am using our shadow blending brush, which is a wonderful kind of everyday crease. Uh, I like this because we actually made it a little bit tighter up top so it doesn't diffuse over, like overly diffuse the product. And then also you can talk about like brush placement and how you hold it. If you're holding it vertically, you're gonna have a little bit more strategic placement because it's not gonna overly blend. If I hold it in or horizontally, the brush is gonna puff out and you're gonna get more of a diffuse saturation. So if you have a larger eyelid, that's a great way of uh, diffusing that as well. So now that we have a lovely diffused tone on her lid, I can go back in with a shimmer shade and kind of pop the light off of her um, lid as well. So you can use something like a shadow intensifier brush if you wanna intensify that pigment. Um, we are a brand that loves fingers. You know, you can apply a beautiful application with shadow with your fingertips as well. So if you wanted to have a more of a heavy saturation to your shimmer, I'm just using my ring finger, wiggling that shadow right along her lash line and diffusing it right into the area that we created her structure and her crease. One of the reasons I also like to use my fingers with uh, shimmer shadows or with a glitter shadow is that you get less fallout from the product and more saturation on the lid. So if you have discoloration on the lids or anything like that, this is gonna give you a more full coverage effect with your shades. I'm using Golden Hour, which is one of our more um, sold cover shot palettes because it's warm ambient tones with a mixture of mattes and shimmers. So it's very everyday palette, uh, very soft shimmers and easy to use for sure and pop open. And that's a quick, easy way of just creating kind of an everyday shadow application that a client can wear. And now that we have the structure placed up top, we're gonna add a little diffused underneath the eyes. So another brush that we like to use is our smoky shadow brush. This lovely guy is going to have more of a kind of bullet-like tip. And you can go in with your crease color and create a drop shadow effect. So drop shadow is just basically going to be balancing the upper and lower lid. Can I have you look up at the ceiling? Again, starting at the outer corner of the eye, you're just gonna wiggle the product back and forth into the lash line to create kind of a soft smolder. And drop shadow really works with any eye shape because it, again, it balances. And because you don't have product on the water line, you're not closing the shape of the eye. So it's just creating that nice balanced effect. And of course, you can go as deep as you want, but it's not about having a really harsh line. It's creating soft, diffused saturation. Do this on the other side as well. Yeah, can you, um, just tilt your chin down. I know it's kind of hard. <laughs> Tickling her eye. <laughs> She's multitasking. She's doing a good job. So just okay. quick little short tickles working the product into the lash line so there is no gap between the lash and the shadow saturation. Now, depending on the eye shape, then you could decide whether you wanna go in with a pencil and waterline because that will sometimes close down the shape of the eye or you could waterline with a light color to open up the shape of the eye. There's all different ways of doing it, but with almost every shadow application that we create at Smashbox, we'll always do a drop shadow effect. It's just, again, all about balancing features. So now that we have her shadow application finished, we're gonna go in with a little bit of liner. <clears throat> of course, with shadows, we have more than just the palettes. 
Um, we have our mold, our little mini palettes as well too. So if someone didn't want to have eight different tones, if they had wanted to have something that's a little bit more strategic, easy to use, three tones that are laid out specifically for your eyes, they can use one of our small photo, I'm blinking. Photo edit, <laughs> photo edit uh, trios. These guys are a mini palette on the go. The cool thing about these is they are actually the camera lens that Davis uses to shoot the ads. Uh, they literally took the camera lens and sent it into the manufacturer and recreated it. Um, again, these guys were updated from our old trios, so they're 20% larger than our old trio for 20% less cost. You have a double-sized base shade, which is great, and then two correlating shadows that will create and enhance the eye shape. These guys are $22, super easy to use, great little add-ons for someone who has maybe a lot of big palettes at home or someone who wants something really simple. So there are palettes for everyone. Um, we also have a couple larger palettes, but we're really not focusing on larger palettes this season. Our main focus for this season will be cover shots. So if you're going for a palette, you're gonna go for that mini palette that you can carry in your purse and has great cost. Um, we're gonna finish this eye look with a Always Sharp liner. These guys are definitely a studio uh, product because Lori Taylor Davis sometimes would lose her pencil sharpener when she's on set and she wouldn't be able to complete her look. So we decided to fix that by creating a pencil that has a sharpener built directly into the cap. So inside of this cap, there is a mold at the very tip. So every time you twist the lid closed, the pencil pushes the lead up into this mold and reforms it. So when you open it, you have a point that is always sharp and is going to create your perfect line. So these guys come in two different formulas. We have a coal, which is a waterproof, and they tend to be matte. Then we also have a 3D liner that has a soft shimmer to them, and they are not waterproof. So both, but still, still very, very long wearing, very easy to use. Uh, it just depends on if client wants to have a little bit more glow to their lid or if they want to have a matte. Uh, if you're doing something on the waterline, I would definitely recommend one of the matte pencils. So now that it's sharp, I'm gonna have you close. I'm gonna start at the outer corner of the lash and just work my way across the lid in small, short strokes. These guys are so, so easy to use and they're really, really creamy. So you never have kind of a jumpy, skippy line. They will just glide across the lid. And because the point is so sharp, you can get a really fine, smooth looking line and open and look down at the floor. And as I get to the inner corner of the eye, I like to pull the lid a little tight and then flip the product onto the inside of the eyelid. So where she doesn't have lashes, you don't have too much liner. And then before I go on to the other side, quickly sharpen and do that again, just on the other side. So these products, are great and again it's perfect for the purse because you don't need a pencil sharpener and you always have that sharp tip but that doesn't mean that it's the only liner that we created at smashbox we also have a pencil gel liner which is going to be even longer wearing super super waterproof there are 36 hour wear and they will need a sharpener i'll pull one of those out in just one sec So we have her lashes lined. And with our um, always on gel liners, these guys are going to be great for the waterline as well because they're really, really saturated pigments. Um, one thing about these when you go into store and you're working with them off the gondola, what I like to do is I go and sharpen all of them when I start off the day because if you haven't been in that store for a little while or if they had their cap off for some time, they get a little bit dry because they're so, so waterproof and they're amazing for not smudging. But you always wanna have that kind of fresh lead so it glides onto the skin a little bit more smoothly but they are very, very creamy once they are sharpened and very easy to use as well. Just depends on if someone wants that kind of multitasker on the go or if they wanna have kind of more of a gel liner, like think of a pot liner, but poured into a pencil. So both are great. Um, we have some beautiful colors. We have like bubbly, which is a lovely kind of sparkling neutral. And this one's a great one for the waterline. So we can finish our eye look with that. Look up at the ceiling real quick. Just gonna lightly pull down at her lid. 
and add a little bubbly into her waterline. This will just kind of open up her eye shape. So depending on the eye shape, if maybe someone had big round, beautiful eyes, maybe we'd use something a little bit more charcoaly or something a little bit more bronzy to enhance that lash line. Or if someone has um, maybe like a hooded eye or something like that, maybe we'll use something like bubbly or bare to open and enhance the shape. So last but not least, for the eyes, we're gonna finish off with a little bit of mascara. And mascara is definitely important for us at Smashbox. Um, if you don't have like a nice healthy looking lash, it's definitely not going to have that kind of completed look for camera. So we like to start off with our layer lash primer. And this one is great because it does have a lot of healthy benefits for the lashes. So it's going to condition and soften the lashes. So they are less likely to break, not get more brittle over time, especially if you use mascara every single day. And another thing with the lash primer, you could totally use it as a nighttime treatment if you want to. It is white, but it will, look at perfect. It will set basically instantly. You don't have to sit there and wait for five minutes after you apply it to apply your mascara. Because this kind of hydrated lash will allow the mascara to just glide right over top of it. But it is fantastic. She already has beautiful full lashes, but if you have a little bit more of a sparse lash, it is a must have because it will make your lashes so, so full. And like you, sometimes you don't wanna sit there and like put on nine coats of mascara. Sometimes it's a little bit easier if you just throw on one. So this will be your best friend if you don't wanna add multiple coats of mascara. <clears throat> So we do have a few different types of mascara. Can I hold these two for me? Uh, we're gonna talk about our Superfan mascara today. So Superfan is the newest out of our mascaras. And what makes it kind of unique is first off the brush. So with this brush, it's a 360 degree brush. And sadly, I don't have the uh, disposable wand, but this brush is amazing because it grabs every single little lash. So if you have those little baby lashes in the corner, or if you just want to get a little bit on the lower lash line, it will get a hold of every single one. Um, it is incredibly black. So you don't have to worry about your mascara looking a little bit gray or not really like getting that intense kind of black look to the lashes. Even with one coat, it will give you that perfectly jet black mascara. Um, the formula is really creamy. It's a buildable mascara. The more coats you add, the fuller the lash will get without looking clumpy. The key benefit is it's a super fanned out look that will not, again, have a clumpy look to the lash. Um, we've been looking at this a lot over the last couple of months because it is one of our newer products and online it has some of the best reviews out of any of our products. I think it's like a 4.7 out of five stars with over a thousand reviews. Um, and people are loving the formula. And then one of the other cool things about it is it is a wonderful price point. Um, it is $19, so very reasonably uh, priced. So. If someone hasn't tried maybe a Smashbox product before, it's a great way to get people into the brand because the product is amazing. The packaging is really beautiful. It's red. Uh, it has a weighted feel to it, so it feels very um, bougie. Mm -hmm. And it um, is just like gorgeous on the eye. It's gonna have you look up. And then I'm gonna go to those lower lashes and I'm going to lightly paint the lashes. And just for sake of time, I'm gonna keep with one coat, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I would definitely go in with a second coat at least to really build up those lashes. But great formula, wonderful price. We do have another formula, which is our Full Exposure Mascara. That one's an oldie but a goodie, it's a classic. The full exposure is going to look like this. Um, it has matte black packaging and has much more of that kind of big fluffy wand inside of it. So it's going to give you a major volume. 
it has um, fibers inside of it that are going to build onto the length of the lash and create a fuller, longer looking lash. So it's kind of a two in one. It's both a lengthening and a volumizing mascara. It also has a little bit of olive oil inside of it that are going to condition the lashes. So it's going to, again, make the lashes more supple, less likely to break over time. Even with our mascaras, we always try to add in a healthy benefit to them so that your lashes look better, they are longer, and they are less likely to break. So no matter what product you're using at Smashbox, we're always going to have some sort of healthy ingredient inside of it. So now that we completed the eye look, we'll go on to creating structure on the face. Um, Julie, do we have any questions about eyes before we? No questions about eyes? Come on. <laughs> so the other thing that I forgot to mention too is of course we do have liquid liner. We have those two pencils, wonderful. Our new always on liquid liner has um, a really lovely shape to it. So it's super easy to hold. Um, it matches the super fan mascara and coloration. They are partners in crime because they create that perfect winged out, fanned out effect. And it has a really nice thin applicator that's going to create the perfect line every time and works from any direction. So you never have to worry about this not getting into the lash line or anything like that. It's so easy to use. You just lay it against the skin and then sweep inwards. And you can create a really nice easy wing with like very little effort. It is 24 hour wear, it's waterproof. You can see it on that eye, instantly saturated her eye. Uh, it has the blackest formula, it will not smudge or budge. Um, I'm obsessed with liquid liner and it's so easy to use. And especially if you're even just going in and tight lining in between the lashes, it's the perfect, perfect eyeliner. Um, so there's an eyeliner for everyone at Smashbox. <clears throat> Um, those ones are going to be discontinued, so they're on the chopping block, sadly. But because we have Super Fan Out and we have really great customer ratings on that, it's definitely going to be our focus. And then we have our classic oldie but goodie full exposure. So focuses for the year. And you guys will also see as you head into the meeting in June next week that we have four main focuses for our brand. And one is primer because makeup always looks better with primer. Two, we want to be a top 10 foundation brand. We have studio skin, we're lowering the price point, we're adding more shades. It has that amazing wearability and looks good in any light. Three will be our cover shot palettes, mini palettes on the go, easy to use, customizable and great for anyone. And then fourth will be our always on liquid lipstick, which we'll finish off our look with. So <clears throat> now that we have that applied, we're gonna go in. And we're going to talk about shape matters for the face. So with shape matters, we also have a quiz that should be available for you guys on your computer. If you want to open it up, uh, you can totally follow along or you can save it for later and print it out. It's always great to print those out and take them in the store if you're going to be focusing on contour or maybe even the cover shot palettes. Um, <clears throat> sure. So the Shape Matters quiz will look like this. It's a blinding white piece of paper. No. Um, <laughs> It is going to basically have a few different questions that you can ask a client that allows them to assess the shape of their face. And just like with eyeshadow, it's going to show them where to place their shadows. <clears throat> and again, something else I wanted to call out for you guys is we do have a wonderful YouTube channel. So like, let's say you found out the client's eye shape. She has gorgeous hooded eyes and you want to show her how to best use them at home. You create the look and you maybe you do a little face chart for her in store. But if she goes to our YouTube channel, she can also click on that, a click on a link that will show her how Lori would enhance a hooded eye. So it can be her best makeup artist at home if we're not there to help them during that time. Same with face shapes. So we have different YouTube uh, videos that show them how to assess their shape of face and then also how to place the product onto their skin. So first we're gonna have the client look directly into the mirror and you're gonna pull back their hair so you can see their neck and you wanna be able to see their forehead as well. So the first question you would ask them is, is their face longer than it is wide or is it equal in length and width? And you're a little longer than you are wide. So we're gonna pretend she's equal in length and width. So if her face is equal in length and width, the next question we'd ask is her cheek 
the same width as her jaw, or does her jaw curve naturally in? So if the cheek and jaw were the same width and equal equal, it would be a square shaped face because they would have corners. When you're contouring something square, you want to soften the corners and then contour the cheek. If the jaw curved naturally in, she would be a round shaped face. Uh, someone who is round, you want to create more structure and angle. So you're going to add in the angles, so jaw, cheek, forehead. Because she's longer than she is wide, the first question we'd ask her is, is her forehead wider than her cheekbone? If the forehead is wider, it's a heart-shaped face. So kind of like me, like you have more peak to your, uh, the shape of your face. So if you have a heart shape, you're gonna focus your contour up top. So you can think of that three, but it'd be forehead, temple, cheek. You don't contour the jaw because it's naturally thin. She's not heart shaped. She has a very petite, lovely forehead. So the last question we'd ask her is the same as what we asked before. Is the cheek the same width as the jaw or the jaw curve naturally in? If the cheek and jaw were the same width, which she is not, it would be a rectangle. So like a long square. If you have a rectangle-shaped face, same idea. You would contour the, the edges, so contour the squares off, and then you want to shorten a little bit, contour top and bottom. Because she has a jawline that curves naturally in, her face is longer than it is wide, she's an oval shape. Oval shape, classic beauty. Uh, basically, when you're talking about the other shapes and contouring and highlighting, you're contouring to kind of create that oval. Because she naturally has that, then your focus is just the cheekbone. So we have a couple different products that you can contour with. We have our contour kit, which is awesome. It has three different shades that are universal. We have a, it's a sorry, some, some of the things are changing right now. Is the deep stain cleaner or is it um, going away? <clears throat> yeah. Stain. Stain. Cool. So we have a light and a deep contour palette. So one for light to medium skin tones, another for medium to deep skin tones. They both have a contour shade, a blending tone, and the highlights. There is deep. So contour, blending, highlight. We also have a new palette, which is our Cali Contour. Cali Contour has the contour palette built inside of it. So you have the contour, the blend, and the highlight from our light to medium contour palette, as well as a couple different shimmer highlights and a universal blush. So this palette's great because it's a multitasker. You can use it as a shadow palette if you like. And the price point is wonderful because it's $39. So it's very reasonably priced. Um, we're going to start off with a contour shade. <clears throat> I'm going to use our um, Precision Cheek Brush. This one's great for contour because it has a nice kind of precise tip, as well as you can use it on the side to blend. So contour is always going to be a cool undertone. I'll try and use the side just a little bit. So the first placement that you're gonna have with your contour is you're gonna look at the center of your ear and you're gonna guide your contour down towards the edge of the lip. But you're not gonna pull the contour all the way down because that will create too heavy of a shadow. So you'll stop your contour right about where the eye begins. So starting at the base of the cheek, using the tip of my brush and blending downwards to create a soft, contoured effect. So as I was saying, contour is always something that is cool. Cool toned is going to create more of a shadowing effect and pull that feature back. Warmer tones will act as your blending and highlight tones will pull that feature forward. So you'll want to always have a cool toned contour. Um, if you find that the contour is like not picking up evenly, you can always take that product and lightly stipple, press, press, press into the skin and then blend. So now that I have her contour, I'm going to go in with my blending bronze. So a little bit on one side of the brush, tap off the excess, lightly above the contour, so that more along the high planes of the cheekbone. I'm going to take that bronze and then blend up and out. So we always want to blend the contour upwards, creating a lift, because if you blend down, if I blend below my contour line that will make the cheek fall rather than raise. The bronze is um, a really wonderful everyday kind of bronzy tone and will give you that really nice sun-kissed kind of effect that will again create that even diffuse kind of saturation. Nice, pretty smooth. So we'll do that on the other side. Start with contour, tip of the brush, ear, pull down, 
about to wear the eye begins, creating my little shadow. Go in with my bronze side of the brush, lifting upwards. This bronze is real pigmented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One little tiny tap, and she's like tan goddess over here. Mm -hmm. and then just blend, blend, blend. Just like the shadow, the more you blend, the better the product will look on the skin. <clears throat> Quick, simple. And it doesn't mean that like, so many times you like go in store and you see like, you see the contour. Again, same idea as what we do with like our complexion. It's really just about creating that natural enhance. Like we're enhancing her bone structure. We're not trying to create stripes on her face. It's not Neapolitan ice cream. It is a lovely diffuse look. So, and also one other trick that we can do with this, like if you find that your contour line is a little too harsh, you can always go in with your highlight tone. Try to do it with a matte highlight, don't do it with a shimmer tone. And you can blend out the bottom edge of the contour and that will help kind of correct if you over apply because these products are incredibly pigmented. So we have a couple different highlight tones in the Cali contour. You could do a matte highlight. Matte highlight around the orbital bone is going to create like a smoothing effect. And it has like a soft brightening, almost kind of like a banana powder. Um, you could totally use that in the T-zone, depending on the complexion. If someone's like ivory, it's gonna look a little yellow, but if someone's anywhere from like a light to a medium, you could totally use it as a quick set. Um, for the shimmer highlights, they are really beautiful. Uh, if you wanna amp up the shimmer, like Julie was saying earlier, so I'll do one side, just normal. So just taking again, same idea, a little bit of the product on the brush. I'm using the other side of the brush, but I'm not cleaning the brush in between my application between bronze and highlight. I'm just gonna tap the highlight onto the high planes of the face. So basically around the orbital bone. And that's gonna create like a nice subtle highlight. If you really wanna amp it up, same idea, grab a little bit of the product onto the brush. Take your primer water and lightly spray the actual brush. Never spray primer water into any palette. The primer water will create a film over top of your palette and you will not be able to use it any longer. But if spray it onto the brush, hey, okay. And then what you can do with a wet highlight is you'll see that it just has a lot more intense shine to it. So it creates not only a radiant effect, it's like a radiant dewy effect. So it's gonna really intensify that highlight. So just depending on how the client wants to look with their highlight application. Uh, this one's really pretty. But it's definitely like a highlight that you can see, whereas with the dry powder, it's an everyday highlight. You can use it anytime. So other places that we would highlight at Smashbox, depending on face shape as well. So we can take a little bit more. Oh, and spray your face. <laughs> so you can take a little tiny bit right above the Cupid bow, just to create a little bit of glow there. And then of course, it depends on face shape. Someone has a round face shape, uh, you might do a little highlight there. If someone has, you know, it just depends on the, again, where you want to pull forward. So sometimes we might want a little bit of highlight in between the brows, maybe a little bit halfway down the crest of the nose. If someone's naturally oily, maybe I wouldn't do that. We're not a brand that loves to add a lot of highlight onto the tip of the nose. I know like every Instagrammer is always like, woo. It's like, <laughs> like our other trainer says, Chris, like who wants a bigger nose? I've never asked a woman, like, what feature do you want to look bigger? And they're like, my nose, unless it's get a lot of highlight there, okay? So it's really more about creating this, that lovely kind of like natural radiance to the skin. <clears throat> so we just finished up her shaping application. This is, this, again, enhancing her natural structure. Um, if you're going to add a blush into this, currently we don't have a large selection of blushes. So you could use your universal blush tone from the Cali Contour palette. And blush would just kind of hit the apple of the cheekbone and lightly sweat backwards and up the cheek. And why I'm sweeping up and back while I'm adding my blush is we just created all this lovely structure with the contour and highlight. If I just do little tiny round dots on her cheek, it's going to again kind of bring it back to a different face shape. So you want to stick with the shaping that we just created. All right, so we're gonna finish off the look with lips. And that's also a wonderful category for Smashbox. That's one of our major players for us as a brand. <clears throat> we have a couple different lip products to choose from. So uh, this one looks like 
and eyeliner. So we'll grab a different tone. So we have the Always Sharp Lip Liners. These guys are just like the eyeliners with the cap that has the mold built inside of it. So every time you open it, you always have that perfectly precise point. I think that's super important for lips. I've never had a client ask for a smoky lip. No one wants a bumpy lip. They don't want it to be blurry. You want a nice crisp line with your lip. So this is a easy on the go. Uh, these are come in a variety of shades and they match a lot of different lipsticks, which is fantastic. Another thing with this is we have our bullet lipsticks. Love these. We have two different formulas that are actually pretty easy to tell apart. We always try to make it easy on the gondola as well. So our matte formula will have a black bullet while our cream formula has a silver. So cream basically means that it has a shea butter base to the lipstick, instantly saturation on the lips, the shea butter hydrates and soothes the lips. So if you have any texture, it's a great formula because it's going to wear really well because it's incredibly pigmented, but it feels really nice. And it has vitamins A and E inside of it. With our matte lipsticks, they are the exact same formula minus the shea butter. So these are, again, really pigmented bullet lipsticks. So they glide on really, really lovely. Like they wear all day. They are non-drying. They still have your vitamin A and E inside of it, which is great because it gives you that really nice feel. Um, and it gives you a really long wear and a smoothing effect. But again, the main difference between the two, shea butter. And everyone loves shea butter. See any? Oh, sorry. See any, not A and E. <laughs> So vitamin C and E in both of the lipsticks, um, only difference again, shea butter. But our major category for this season, I'm gonna do something a little bit darker. So is going to be our Always On Liquid Lipsticks. Always On Liquid Lip has a primer oil complex infused inside of it. So these guys, so pretty, you have that really lovely packaging. And they're again, two different finishes with the Always On. Same idea as what we just talked about. Easy to tell on the gondola. The mattes are gonna have a black lid where our metallics will have a metallic lid. So with Always On, the Primer Oil Complex is gonna give you a really lovely hydrating benefit for your lips. So if you're applying it, it's not gonna cause your lips to dry out or crack throughout the day. And especially if you like you're reapplying it after lunch, it's going to not fall up or look um, un like unperfected, it's going to look really smooth and hydrated, even though it's a long wear liquid lip. So always on, wear for a full eight hours and will not feather or bleed. Uh, they have a wonderful applicator inside of them. It is shaped with a, like almost like a little diamond. It's a pre precision tip applicator that has a reservoir in the center that holds excess product. So no matter how full your lips, you never have to re-dip to apply the product. So if you're using the applicator, you can create a line effect and you don't have to use a, a lip liner with this product. In store, we're going to apply it onto our hand and then apply the product onto the lip. So one thing that our product development did with all of these, both matte and shimmer, is we use maxed out color pigments that are fully, fully gonna saturate the lip. Literally, you could not add more pigment into this formula. It is the most pigment that is basically possible to put inside of a liquid lip. So you get that perfect saturation instantly. And it does not feather or bleed. I am using Vino Noir, which is one of our new metallic formulas. And just going across her lip line. So you can see, quick, simple, they glide on like butter and they last again all day long. So we also added in a new nude collection this season as well. And there is a nude for every skin tone. 
I feel like lip liner is like, or lip, lighting a lip is the hardest thing to do while talking. <laughs> Eyeliner, I'm fine. Lip, I'm like, oh. So I know you want it to be perfect because once it sets, it really does not move, especially the metallics. They really are there from morning till night. So with the nude story, the cool thing about the nudes is there is a nude for every single skin color and it allows you to ha customize towards every different person, just like with our Studio Skin Foundations. So there is the perfect shade for everyone. The metallics are going to have a matte, matte metallic finish. And we'll finish perfecting this in just a minute. But the matte metallic finish is going to have that kind of glow, but it will not transfer throughout the day. We also have <clears throat> our pure pigments that have also, there is a metallic as well as our matte pure pigment. And these guys are what Vlada uses a lot. So if you've looked at the gondola over the past couple of seasons, she's used these in multiple campaigns to create those drips. Um, and these are more of a glossy version of a lip. So they have that high shine finish as well as a metallic or a high shine matte finish. But these also, even though they are more of a gloss, they have maxed out color pigments. So they create a liquid lipstick effect with a glossy finish. The wearability of this will be less because glossy things tend to wear off quicker than the mattes. But you can totally layer these products together to create a really saturated effect on the lip. So if you wanted to finish off a look with one of these, we could add a little brains and bronze over top of this. And layering textures will always create more dimension to your lip. Yeah, and the cool thing about this as well is adding one of these products over top as a finishing product won't affect the longevity of the always on. So the always on will still stay on for at least eight hours. So it will really look gorgeous all day long. So I know that we just gave you a crazy amount of information, but we wanted to show you a complete Smashbox look from start to finish of how we kind of create that studio aspect. So one of the other things that we always think about when we're doing makeup at Smashbox is balancing features. And because I did a softer eye look, I can go bolder with the lip. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't have a bolder eye and a bolder lip, but then maybe you balance other features with a softer brow and a softer contour. You don't wanna create over the top dramatic you want to kind of look and talk to your client about what she wants to feel like for that special event or for that everyday application and create that perfect application for her. Um, now, what time is it? Okay, cool. Um, so do we have any questions about color products that we went over or anything about complexion or application tips before we go into our next segment? We can also, yes. The only question was, um, and I'll just repeat it because people aren't reading it, is how they contour stain with a limited edition or core oh. item white. Yeah, so Cali contour is gonna be a core item. Um, that's something that we wanted to be more on par with some of the other brands that have those multiple shades and a great price point. So that's gonna be something that is staying, but we're not going to have the contour kit leave either. So they're gonna have a choice of either that product that is, um, know the three steps super simple or that multitasker that they can use for cheeks and eyes. Cool. Is there anything else that you want to add Miss lovely Julie? I think I was, kind of, while Pierce is perfecting the look I think that some things I just want you guys to to walk away with when um, you're watching this demo and learning about the product is that Smashbox empowers women to discover their most kick-ass beautiful self and so when you're working with your clients in store that's really the mentality that we want you guys to have when you sit somebody down it's all about really asking them questions and meeting their needs while giving them something different or unique and really enhancing their features we want somebody to walk away feeling like their most beautiful version but 
feeling like themselves. And that's really huge, especially with a day of Instagram where everybody's trying to copy all these influencers and pack on tons of product. That's really not who we are as a brand. We really take that Instagram look and we educate our clients on how to make it wearable for them that meets their needs, that works with their lifestyle. And it's all because we really create problem solving makeup out of a studio that really lasts, that's transfer resistant, that does exactly what it says it's going to do. And I think that's one thing I love so much about the brand is that we really create beautiful makeup. I think when you look at every brand, you can kind of tell, oh, that's, that's their signature style or that's their style at Smashbox. It's all about enhancing, not masking, beautiful camera ready skin diffused washes of color, like Pierce said, focusing on really one feature and really being able to enhance that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and look, and that's exactly what Pierce did with our model. She has perfect skin. Her eyes are beautifully enhanced, not a heavy crease. It's enhancing her shape. Her cheeks are sculpted, but it doesn't look like she has a pound of makeup on. Her lips pop and they're beautifully defined but they're not overdrawn. They really are wearable. I mean, she could literally go to her office job looking like this. She could go to happy hour. She could even go to the club. And this look would work in any of those environments because of the way that it's applied. And I'm just actually doing the tip that uh, Julie was talking about a little bit earlier is taking just a touch. Any primer will work really, but using a little bit of the original primer on a Q-tip will clean up any little mistakes. So like if you are lining a lip and you find that maybe you have a little bump, you can take that and just lightly remove it and it will remove the excess lipstick without um, really messing up the makeup. And the other thing you can do with that as well is clean up any fallen bits and pieces of shadow or like Julie was saying, if you wanna reshape like the look of your wing, you can go back in with a little bit of the iconic or the original primer and just go in and shape the look of the makeup. And again, it kind of instantly erases any little bits of like fallen shadows or a smudge of mascara, and it doesn't ruin the concealer underneath like an eye makeup remover might. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So awesome. let's do a little retention and then we'll open it up for questions. Perfect. Okay. Sounds good. So thank you, thank Stephanie. You. Thank our model for being thank here. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So we're going to. Um, do a little retention before we open it up to questions, but just to review, Smashbox Cosmetics was born out of a photo studio. We started the studios in 1990. Smashbox Cosmetics was born in 1996, so we have been around for a long time. We pride ourselves on creating that camera-ready skin, starting with Photo Finish Primer. Again, we are the primer authority. We're the number one primer brand in North America and the U.S., and we have 11 primers depending on your skin type or concern. So it's really about asking questions and customizing for that client. All of our primers are formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. So they're all really good for your skin. Then we move on to the perfecting category. With our perfecting category, we really focused on studio skin today. Studio skin is that long wearing foundation that's gonna give you a natural matte wearable look it does come currently in 22 shades and lasts for 15 hours again in fall you'll see the price reduction of 36 dollars, which is actually already happening but you're going to see an additional 18 shades so 40 shades in fall with the new claim of 24 hours which is awesome the formula has not changed I did mention that our BB and CC creams are being discontinued, but I just got clarification that BB cream is not going to be discontinued until 2020. So I did want to quickly just talk about that um, so you guys are aware. BB cream is a multitasking five in one. It primes, it perfects, it sets, it controls oil and hydrates the skin. So this is for that gal that likes that quick five minute on the go tinted moisturizer look, has a high SPF of 35 and it looks really beautiful on the skin. I love a fingertip application. You can use a blurring foundation brush too. 
But again, pea size amount is all you need. And this is a good on the go foundation. It comes in eight shades, which is really unique to our BB category versus other brands. And then following our perfecting category, we have our concealers and the Studio Skin Concealers 24 hour. And remember that it does within the first 30 seconds gets a little bit warmer, but then after that, it will not change color. It stays true. Remember that beautiful uplighting technique. And then our setting category. You can set with powder or you can set with primer water. Karina did send a little message to all of you. We really focus on our Halo Hydrating Powder that is one of our core powders. We do have a photo filter powder, depending on the retailer. I think right now it's only at Macy's, mm -hmm. so that's the only retailer you're gonna see it, but it is a pressed powder foundation. And BB, <clears throat> uh, they're just asking about if the entire lines are going away. So let me give you that specific. Those are great questions. BB concealer, so BB eyes is being discontinued. BB water is being discontinued in fall. Um, and CC cream will be summer 19, so it will be April 2019. So it'll be so, around for a while. Yeah, it will be yeah. around for a while, so I probably should mention that one too. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. then some of the products you'll see, like when they go away, there might be something else coming out in its place. So don't worry about, don't stress. Yeah. There might be something even better. And just to know, and the reason we're kind of like, what's being discontinued, what's not? It's all different based on retailer and real estate on each gondola. That's why it's just really best to kind of study each um, retailer. But we do have CC cream. It will be around for another probably year. eight months. Yeah, yeah. year. Ish. Time flies, yeah. yeah. So the difference between CC cream and BB cream, this one is more hydrating. And it also has a color corrector in it. So it has a vitamin C complex. So over time, it's going to help with hyperpigmentation. So the main difference in these two bad boys is that this one has a color corrector. So it will help over time with hyperpigmentation. And this one is more oil controlling. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more hydrating, a little bit creamier, a little bit more dense, a little bit more oil controlling. Eight shades, high SPF, primer lightweight feel yeah yeah good for summer <laughs> yeah good for summer all, all right. right so uh, we wanted to finish off our session with you guys with one of their t or with our main artists so Lori taylor davis is our global pro lead artist she has worked for the brand for um a minute, yeah, a minute. and a minute she and is half, just, and then some. she does all of it's our okay. studio makeup she is like our makeup guru and we wanted you to be able to have the chance to see her on our um tutorial and also ask her any questions yeah. she's so, going to talk a little bit about studios yep and i'm going to step away and answer okay. questions oh okay. okay good so it's it's all yeah, you I set? i'm gonna get my hair right okay <sighs> hey guys um this is fun yeah I so these so are fun. all of our new folks that are joining our brand um oh this month oh well welcome 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 um this is a really exciting time at smashbox i'm yeah. really excited about this this is the first webinar i've ever done so <laughs> bear with me people um so studio what 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 i mean what what do they want to know and what should i share with them because it's like so much uh well so we just went over so we talked a little bit about dina and davis starting the company in 1990. okay we went through a classic smashbox makeup application so talking about sheer layers okay. and um blending and creating like diffused natural looks while enhancing their structure and shape love that um and yeah just anything that you want to tell about maybe previous experiences or something that like just you know stands out to you as making us a studio brand yeah and maybe talk about brand. why you love the, the brand um thank yeah. you oh gosh you got, they're always pretty okay so the first thing is yeah i've been at smashbox 15 years mm -hmm. and i am kind of the, i'm the in-house makeup artist i think the one thing i think that separates smashbox from any other brand is just kind of our aesthetic and our makeup our kind of makeup um, heart. So for us, it's, it is more about enhancing. It is more about sheer layers. It's, um, although the trend tends to be, you know, people are wearing a lot of makeup. We have that same kind of philosophy, except that it's more wearable and more enhancing. I think one of the things that, one of the trends I'm seeing right now is um, all those, you know, social media, they've put um, almost like a, a spotlight on makeup. At Smashbox, we're starting to kind of see where brands are now taking some of those layers off. Um, we're starting, of course, to see a lot of glow. Um, I think the Kelly Contour Kit 
was, was one of those products that we created that has such a true kind of like California, LA, Smashbox feel to it. Um, as far as makeup, I think, um, you know, we're seeing with the new, um, did, we, did you guys talk about the new palettes? No. We'll be learning more about that next week. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So there's some new eyeshadow palettes coming out. That's kind of amazing. I just spilled that tea. Sorry, guys. Um, so what we're, what we're really, really seeing is just a lot, and, and trend-wise, of course, you know, there's, again, a focus on eye. Eye is having another moment. Um, so we're starting to see, you know, different, different kind of textures in eye, different color variations of eye. It's one of the things I think is, that's coming from the studios. Um, also, we use, at Smashbox, we use Smashbox Studios as our lab. So everything that we create at Smashbox is kind of is always tested, not only um, in the studios on the day of you know the shoot, creating the looks, but also in Flashbox, which is our kind of in-house lighting lab. So for us, it's really all about how you're enhancing your enhancing the look. Um, of course, keeping up with trend, and I know that there'll be times when someone will bring you a picture and say, I wanna look like this, are, it's almost like we, we take that information and then we just kind of recreate it in a very smash box kind of way. Um, I don't know, anything, any other questions? Any questions? You guys have no questions for me, come on. I just, yeah. You were just in Australia, did you see anything happening at there that was like well yeah I, I was just in australia the one thing i love about australia is they tend to be they're like our sister country because mm -hmm. they're all about glowy um natural um like radiant skin i think it's really all about you know skincare is such a huge important that's why i just kind of love the, the, the glam, glam glow is one of our partners because everything about what they do is all about you know kind of making the skin perfect before you put on makeup. So then everything that we create, starting from primer, going all the way through to, you know, color, it's just kind of a compliment. So um, yeah, glowy and hydrated and radiant and all of that is everything I saw on there. Extremely um, excited about our new mascara, because they're just, they're just getting it. They tend to be about six months to a year behind trend. So with everything that um, I kind of sneak peek to them, they are super excited. So showing them what we have right now is, you know, that they won't probably get for another year. What three trends are the most Smashbox? What three trends are the most, that's a great question. I love this. This is like Oprah. <laughs> what three trends are the most Smashbox? Um, I'd have to say a bold lip, a bright, bold lip. Um, not always in like, you know, your technical lip color. Um, of course, gorgeous natural radiant skin that is huge so highlight is like kind of where we play we have kelly contour we have the spotlight palettes we have everything that's all about that's that's been something that we've done forever you know we've had we have radiance primer and things like that um and then the next trend i would have to say i think lashes are kind of having a moment yeah so lashes and liner yeah. I think liner is also having a, a huge focus right now. It's not all just about the wing. I think, I think it's all like, you know, with liner, it's like geographic shapes and just really kind of focusing on liner. And I feel like as we get right, get kind of going into summer, um, when people ask, like, God, how do I pare down? How do I pare back my makeup routine? And one of the things I say, you know, you can grab a B, like a, a, B, a BB or a CC and just liner and color sometimes and mascara is all you need because your skin already has this gorgeous kind of natural kind of warm hue to it. Mm -hmm. um, if they wanted to do like a little self-education because a lot of these guys are going to be new to the brand. Okay. Uh, and they went on YouTube. What two videos should they watch of you? Which ones are your favorite? <laughs> oh, um, I, think is, I think our brand video kind of like says a lot. I love to listen to Davis talk about the brand because he. I always feel like even in 15 years, every time he tells a story about the brand, I'm like, I didn't know that. Um, I would have to say our brand is our general brand video. Um, and what other one? What about makeup one that you did? Makeup, makeup. Let me think. Um, the, I, I've done so many. Yeah. I'm like, which one? I always like the um, the eye shape video. Yeah, we're in because that's so hugely important. It so is. I feel like there's, you know, as a as as makeup artist, sharing just like this the things that we kind of are like, oh, we already know it. Sharing that with your client, and you're it's almost like you know, teach your man a fish. You know, give them a fish, but they teach them a fish. So you're teaching them something that this doesn't come natural to them. Oh my God, they they'll think that you created fire. 
<laughs> you're the most like, oh my God, make up God. So yeah, the eye shape video is really awesome. Where do you see the brand going? Where do you see the future of Smashbox? You know, I feel like Smashbox has been such, because LA is, um, everyone's so hyper-focused on Los Angeles right now. Traffic has been getting worse here because everyone's moving to LA. Everyone really wants to be here. I think us being, you know, one of the key pillars and, you know, and makeup artistry in Los Angeles, I'd have to say we're going to always be the, the kind of go-to for anything that has to do with skin. It's like color is wonderful and I love color and it's so fun, but the true base to any really great makeup is perfected, gorgeous skin. Because the better you make your skin look, the better makeup will look. Um, so for us, it will be, always be something about, you know, on that search for that holy grail of like skin that looks like you have nothing on it, but it's perfected. So I'd have to say we're going to, our foundation category is going to keep kind of growing and morphing and changing. And then every once in a while, you'll see like a trend of, oh, this is a new lip or this is a new eye or this is a new kind of technology. We tend to be a little bit ahead of the game technology wise and even like product wise it's like one of those things i mean there have been so many products that were created like maybe two years too soon and then we're like we did that already so we are definitely ahead of the game when it comes to technology and things like that in, in cosmetics what's your favorite primer my favorite primer is radiance well that's here yeah. it's hard right now i was like that's like saying what's your favorite child um <laughs> I, okay, so I'd have to spread, spread my love evenly across the board of primer oil, radiance primer, and um, primerizer, because I like radiant, glowy, I mean, you look at it, glowy, radiant, you can never be too shiny and too glowy to me, that's just like my, that's one of my favorites, <laughs> and it just depends on the client, too, because sometimes I'm like, I love the mattifying stick. To, instead of powder, because I, again, I know everyone's just like, don't say that. Well, I'm like, I'm not a huge powder lover, so I tend to use other products instead of powder, instead of adding another layer on. Yeah. So those three are my favorite. And if I pick one in those three, then it has to be primer oil, which yeah. is my absolute favorite. Yeah, it's great. Everywhere, head, toe, everywhere, just goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Wait. Will there be any blushes launching? Also, what skincare do you use in the studios prior to makeup? Um, so yes, blush is on its way, as well as new highlighters and new bronzers. I'm not sure what year those are coming up, but we're already kind of developing them. And what skincare do we use? So we use a mixture of, um, I do, what's the, gl it's Glam Glow makes uh, that hydro glow, glow, glow starter. starter Bomb.com, because I love glow, see? Um, and then, Believe it or not, I also like the, um, God, I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's yellow and it's by Clinique and it's a dramatically, oh. sure that, DDML. that's one. Yeah, yeah. That, those two, just because they don't really, they, they play really nicely with primer um, and they kind of hydrate the top of the skin. Um, primer razor sometimes can also be used, but I feel like primer razor needs a little bit of a boost. So for me, I use the primer oil and primer razor almost like skincare because I know exactly how they're going to react with all of the Smashbox foundations that I'm putting on top. Mm -hmm. Can I answer those questions? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. This side of my hair is really flat. Oh, well, anyway, guys, I am, well, welcome. Um, welcome. I'm so excited for them. Yeah, we're so excited to have you guys. Um, we are very excited to have Lori here oh, with God, us. And Julie, you. thank you for yes. teaching us I all of those it. amazing tips and tricks. I know. Um, we are going to post this video onto YouTube. So if anyone missed it or missed part of it, you can watch it again and again. And, and again, again and again. I am always like. And then oh, also, God. if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to email us. Or um, once we post it, we'll share the link with you, and I'll look at the comments and answer any questions that pop up. But we're hoping that you guys learned a lot of new tips and tricks about the brand, and had a nice morning with us. We definitely had a nice morning with you, and we appreciate your time. Yes, and I just want to leave you guys. I just want to challenge you to really do some self-study. It's fun. Smashbox is a fun brand, and learning about us, you will see how we just very well will marry with Glam Glow. So check out the studio script that Karina sent you. Do some self-study. Go on YouTube. Watch this lady in action. Yeah, there's so many You'll learn videos. so many different things about the brand. And we wish you luck next week in Arizona. And we can't wait, wait to personally meet all of you guys. Yeah. That's exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, have a wonderful day. We'll Bye, talk guys. to you guys soon. Have Bye. a good day.